Hello and welcome, fans of the XNSA Super Spy Sam Fisher, to this Let's Play of Splinter Cell Conviction with me, Grey Hunter. Uh, again, like with Hitman, I didn't actually intend to begin with this game. I intended to begin with Chaos Theory. But Chaos Theory is a bit old and didn't really work with any of my video recorders. I will attempt to figure out how to record it. I'm sure there's a way, because people have done Let's Plays of it before, so I'm, I'm sure there's a fashion that I can manage to get it recorded. But for now, we're playing this. Uh, I did decide to go to Double Agent, but then Double Agent decided that, as it does with the PC version, it wasn't going to have any sound. Again, common bug. Very irritating. Not something I was particularly pleased with. It was kind of annoying. I will admit it was kind of annoying. So that left me, because I didn't want to play Pandora Tomorrow or Splinter Cell, the original, uh, that left me with either Conviction or Blacklist. And Blacklist is cool. Blacklist is a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it lately. Uh, but you kind of need to have played Conviction, or at least have the story of Conviction, to see some of the characterizations and such in Blacklist. So we are going to begin with Conviction, which is still a fun game. It's not really a Splinter Cell game though, uh, as I'm sure those of you who are fans of the Splinter Cell series will be sure to mention in the comments. It's not really a Splinter Cell game, it's not even really a stealth game, it's a run and gun, high testosterone, shoot fucking everything. With Sam Fisher as a renegade operative instead of, you know, working for Third Echelon. Uh, for those of you who have not got all that much familiarity with the Splinter Cell series, it's a... It's Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, so written by the man himself. Uh, he kind of just signed his name to it. Splinter Cell isn't really anything to do with Tom Clancy. It's just kind of... They tacked his name onto it to sell more stuff, really. It's, it's a good game, though. It's a good game series. Uh, Michael Ironside makes his last appearance as Sam Fisher in this game, which is sad, because Sam Fisher and Michael Ironside, you know... He plays the character so well, it was so good, it was awesome. Chaos Theory in particular, and a lot of Double Agent. Double Agent definitely had a lot of cool Sam Fisher moments. Uh, so for those of you who are not particularly familiar with the series itself, uh, I'll give you a tiny bit of backstory so we can just uh, go into it from now. Um, Sam Fisher is a former Splinter Cell. Splinter Cells are basically... Ex extremely, extremely elite covert operatives who work for Third Echelon. Third Echelon was commanded by a guy called Irving Lambert, who is Sam's best friend, who is now dead, because Sam killed him, but you'll see why in a moment, and now Sam is disillusioned with the entire whole, uh, you know, US intelligence services thing, and he's on his own looking for who killed his daughter. So with that all explained, let us begin. We'll go to the Merchant Street Market, we will be playing on Realistic, and I'll be trying to be stealthy, but uh, I won't worry about it too much in this game. If I get around to playing Blacklist soonish, which I probably will, because Blacklist is a lot of fun, uh, I'll care a lot more about stealth in uh, Blacklist. But for now, we're going to we're going to treat this as more of a running, gunning, Sam Fisher murdering machine simulator. So we'll be Realistic, your... You will start Sam at the beginning of that level, your existing save game will be overwritten. Okay, continue! So we get a nice little intro cinematic. I hate the fact that Skip comes up there. Just do what you have to do. I always it's do. It's not a cinematic with that. With that I thing. always do. Grim. Hey. Oh dear. So we're going to meet a new character here. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. That's what drove Sam on the edge. Thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. 
and so did Sam. So he left. Left there at Echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. You know it's serious if man gives up the apple pie. He went walkabout looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city All right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. And apparently Excuse it looks really son. nice. Yes. Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your caller. That's not what I ordered. I ordered chicken parmigiana. The service in this place is terrible. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell Hello, me you Grim. don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a well, damn grim. thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third She's echelon. a spy. An eye on everyone. It's what she does. Well, technically she's an intelligence analyst, it. but you know. So look up. This is where you uh, customize your controls, I inverted, etc. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. It's basically just so you can do that. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostels inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Okay. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? <laughs> just like the old the good days, old Sam. days. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody okay, leave. well, that's nice. So, Anna Grimm's daughter, or Grimm, is probably my favorite out. character in the series after Good. Sam. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Yeah, I'm Go the cover right to cover spot. until you reach the luggage. I'm there. What? I'm Hang there. on. <laughs> no Tapping man. into the city's power like grid. Being out That'll let me no overload the transformers backup. near you and blow out those what lights. The guy's arm, huh? Thanks, Grim. You think of that? So Grim is one of my favorite characters because she's, you know, she compliments Sam so well. They're good friends, as you'll know from previous games. Ooh. Twenty years ago. Hello, daughter. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Oh, okay. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. Yeah, but that hurts your eyes. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? That's really? true. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Now hold okay. on to that thought for a moment. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? How poetic. Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Exactly. Well, what was that? Teddy, what was that? <laughs> Daddy so needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's going to shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Damn straight. So, the thing about what Sarah just said there is that she said she couldn't see Sam either. In Not the dark. Sam does Come really bad things for good causes. It's just a fact of life. It's what he does. Play, you stupid son so we have bitch. to take out these guys. Uh, which one to take out first is the question. Move up, man. You, I think. Come on. Oh. And there's a third fella coming. Come out and show yourself, fuckface. 
No. I refuse hey, your kind offer. Shithead! Time to stop hiding. Hiding? I'm not hiding. What do you got, man? Not really. You got anything good? This place is shit. Hey, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. And the lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Oh, guys, Take you broke into the wrong trade. house. Now shit. you're talking. Hello. <laughs> so now we've got Mark and Executes. So tag, tag, boom. This is a little bit of a gimmick, you know, like it's supposed to reflect Sam's awesome ability to just Dad, shoot everything inside. What did you do to them, Dad? Sir, baby, don't. Kind of breaks the game a little. Sam? Sam? What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. I'm not, I was there busy. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Oh, I've got some questions in mind already. Yeah, Hello. Who's paying the bill on this one? Coben. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this Coben, guy? Coben, you say? His money's good. He's a punk. Hmm. We've heard that name before. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You? I think that would be a great idea. So we're going to tag these two guys in advance. Probably ran out the back entrance to the market and take you out. Not happening. Back's all blocked off. He's got to come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. The hell is he hiding anyway? Hmm. Jewelry stand, maybe? Nah, okay, I can't hit both of them from here. It's got to be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We take oh, him out. Oh no, you wouldn't. Cover me, you ass! Fuck, man. Kiss block. A thousand bucks for the guy who kills Fisher. Mm, too bad all your dudes are dead. A thousand bucks for the guy who kills Fisher. Mm -hmm. Screw this. I'm out of here. No, not so fast, Mr. Gramkos. Sam has some questions. He's coming to get answers. Fuck off. Looking so one of the really me, cool asshole. things. Oh, just don't. No more playing yeah. around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Wrong answer. So the nice cool thing about this is you get interrogations. You get context sensitive interrogations. Like so. If you're around an interactive object, Sam will smack people into it, and it's cool. Okay, enough. You want to know, send me. It's Coben. Andre Coben. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? <laughs> don't. Please, stop. Yeah, you don't. You don't get to to make that stop. So, one of the nice cool things about Conviction as well is that you see stuff on the walls. It's a really nice way to supplement the uh, like the objective and information gathering thing, seeing as you don't have your ops at anymore. It's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, I didn't see nothing, man. I swear. Yeah, I'd stay in there. He, he drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard Did you he? coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should Ooh. refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. You just have to try. Oh, damn it. Observe. Did that jog your memory? In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm okay. not going to tell him a damn thing. Night, night. So yeah, Sam's kind of pissed. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. 
which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with, and that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Solid Sam strategy. knew Coben was in there, and that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what. Of course he was. He's got to get answers. So now we're going after our friend, Coben, who can hopefully tell us something about what happened to our daughter. Like, I don't know, why he killed her? But first, we must requisition something. The most expensive gadget money can buy. The car mirror. Okay. So, you can't actually open this door until you peek under it. Basically, it's just, you know, to let you know that you can still do this. It's kind of cool. I like how the text changes depending on, you know, which bit of the mirror it's looking at. The broken bit looks all weird and warped. It's pretty cool. So, let us continue. Uh, you'll have also noticed, I imagine by now, that there is no non-lethal takedowns in this game. Sam is on a killing mission. You can't not kill people. You can avoid them, but you can't not kill them. So what's on the other side of this? A first victim! Hello. Boo. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I want to mark both of these fellows. Okay, apparently I can't from where I am. What, because of the shipment? That's <laughs> Do it. Good job, Sam. You can leave those guys alone. But nah. And they sometimes see that guy after he's fallen out. So, you know. I like to take him out just for insurance. So turn that off. Open this. And we're about to make a new friend. Hello. So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Get someone something else down painful. there. Mmm, yeah, that, that probably hurt. Anyway? I don't know. So, you can tag you objects in the environment as well, which is nice. Coben clean them up. Coben clean them up. Fuck, man. And cause accidents with them. Someone took out the chandelier! Yes, they did. Okay, so we've escaped safety. And now, we have a few new friends. Fuck! Shit! Got a couple in here as well. Shit, what happened here? Bad things happened. Actually, I'm guessing it's that Fisher guy. Stay alert. Fuck, who cares? Jesus. It's you, isn't and... it? And. Death from above. Someone was. You'll die in this museum! No, I won't. Because I'm way ahead of you. Mr. Coven would love. Alright, let's get back up here. I was hoping we'd be able to take both of them out at the same time, but the other guy was a little bit too far away. Hmm. What the fuck? fuck how to do it, how to do fuck it. That museum, fuck everything. Oh, we might be able to just grab this guy. Everybody stay frosty. He's gotta be close by. Come here. Please. Come on. You know you want to. I'm sure it's you, Fisher. I know you're close. Come on. Go fuck yourself. Well, that's not very nice. I can't see him anywhere. Shit. It's very rude, actually. Screw it. I'm keeping watch right over here. Hmm. That's not gonna Fisher! help you, son. You're playing games? Fuck. Always. You know what? I might just shoot you. <laughs> Don't need to worry about that last guy. If you're the ghost of the museum, you'll die a second time. Alrighty. Let's get gone. And a weapon stash. These things are cool. So I have played through the game before, so I do have a fully upgraded 5.7. It's lots of fun. It does give you a little bit of an advantage in this section of the game. Because right now you'd be uh, limited by how many challenges you completed, most likely. And you'd probably not be able to fully trick out a 5.7, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh, shit! Well, that went well. 
Okay. This is our new friend. We're gonna introduce ourselves. What's your ETA? Hello. Okay. So now we have four of these things. Tag this. Let's see. Tag that. And tag him. Right, let's just get a little bit. Actually. No, here is fine. Kaboom. Now, do we have any other friends? Don't believe so. No, we do not. Scorpion bullets and EMP grenades, my favorite. And you, it is. Take the left. I don't know how you got this far. We're not gonna get any further. You keep coming. I'll be waiting. And I'll take care That's of you great. the same way I take care of everyone else who fucks with me. And one more thing. Your daughter, your precious little daughter, she was a fucking whore! That's not very nice. I think she was lovely. Okay. So we see at least two people. Let's try going around to the right-hand side. Have a look. This is, is he close man. enough to notice us? Out, let's get this over with. No. Hmm, possibly. What are you doing, Fisher? Admiring the painting? Fuck you! Okay. Let's get the high ground. Where the hell is he? I'm everywhere. Dun dun. I'm not afraid of you, Fisher! Come on and oh, hello. Death from above. Oh, Alright, excellent. Should be able to get all three of them not from. A lot of place to hide in an no? enemy museum, fish. Damn it. <laughs> Just casually shoot through a wall. I'll find you and I'll kill you, Fisher. You'll be our new I fish doubt that. Let's give you a chance anyway. Look around, choose your wall. I'll hang you on it. Coven wants to see you dead, Fisher. Does he? That's nice. I know you're in the museum, Fisher. Come on out. Wonder what would happen if I did. Whoa. This. That, obviously. <laughs> I love it. Now we don't need to use that weapon stash. Let's get gone. And up we go. Hi. Enjoy the Hi. flight. <laughs> I love Snarky Sam. He's the best. Jovial Sam was kind of cool from the previous games, but Snarky Sam is funnier. You think this place is haunted? Why are you gonna worry about that now, man? Because I'm hearing things, that's why. And I want to know if you think this place is haunted. No, I don't yes, think it's it haunted. Yes, it is. By oh, me. Haunted as a motherfucker. Here lies Sarah Fisher. Well, we'd best go avenge her. So what's the plan, boss? What's the plan? What's the plan? I'll tell you what the plan is. That son of a bitch is going to come through that door, and we're going to blast him when he does. Which is why we'll go through the window. Thank you, Coben, for illuminating everyone to your strategy. You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I just shut up! Easy there, boss. Hmm. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. He's so ready. Okay. I'm not hearing anything. Where to go, where to go. Are you hearing anything? Shit! You, uh, Anton, go check it out. See what's going on behind that door. 
Okay. Boss, I don't see him. So we can get two of them. Maybe if we enter from a slightly different area. Yeah, let's do something slightly different from my original plan. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! This is my house, you hear me? My house! Why don't you just okay. goddamn die? Is there a shooter? Hello. I'm making a painting of your fucking me. blood! Over there, God! Piss blood. Yes, I am. Alright, Coben. Crap! Crap! I'm coming Crap. for you. You got nothing, you hear me? Nothing! Really? Die, you bastard! Die! Nope. I have plans. We have a meeting to have. <laughs> Good job, Sam. You're not bulletproof, are you? Oh, no. I don't need to be, though. Hello. Andre Coben. Were you saying something about my daughter? Oh, God, no. Yeah, I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it really? up to me. Tell me why you killed her. Please. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Hmm. See, that's an unfortunate answer. Can you play the piano, I wonder? Nah, needs a little tuning. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. Yeah, but I'll gut you if you don't. So, you know, you've got a bit of a choice to make, son. <laughs> I hear a helicopter. This does not bode well for the old Sam. They're not Coven. the ones you should be worried about right now. I have a question for you. Why can I hear a chopper? You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Who is they? Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Oh, that noise is familiar to people who have played Splendid Sam, you need excuse. to go with them. The hell really? I do. What Please. the fuck? You have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. Yeah, what I don't think so it's quite long? wise to be saying her name in front of this lot, though. Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... Yeah. It's kind Some of a setup. Oh, we're going to be remembering that one, Coben. You and I, we're going to have words. <laughs> 